Go. Uh, jump up. Checking my stock options. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, never mind about that. I've got a problem. You okay, can you help me? me? Yeah, maybe. Well, I just don't understand the Coriolis force. Ah, well, maybe I can help you with this. Yeah? Yeah. Have a look at this. Yes, Turns out I've conveniently written it all down just before you came. Ah. Okay, so consider a position vector R in the system rotating at angular velocity omega. The derivative in the inertial frame equals the derivative in the rotating frame plus the term omega cross r. This gives an equation for the absolute and relative uh, velocities vi and vr. Equation 1 can be applied to any time derivative and we see the acceleration ar in the rotating frame. So we apply equation 1 to the velocity vr. If we then substitute vi rearrange and expand, we can write down an expression for the acceleration relative to the rotating frame in terms of the absolute acceleration, 2 omega cross vr and omega cross omega cross r. And so that is the sum of the physical forces, the Coriolis force, and the centrifugal force. The Coriolis force being 2 omega cross vr and the centrifugal force being omega cross omega cross r. So there you have it. So, so uh, omega cross V, omega cross omega cross R. I mean, what does that even mean? It looks like you've just done some mathematical tricks and you've come up with something, but I don't understand it. Are you questioning the validity of my derivation? Uh, well, no, no, but, but I mean, it just doesn't speak to me, do it? There must be a more mm. direct way of understanding the Coriolis force. Well, actually, I think I may just have a way. Follow me. So here we are, Dylan. Back to the scene of the crime. Yes, we are. Aren't the bath is a bit smaller? Yes, but the balls are bigger. Indeed. Shall we? All right, Dylan. Let's go. All right, jump up. So Dylan, what just happened? I threw the ball, it veered off to the right and missed you. Well, it's actually me who went the other way, you see. You went the other way? So you mean the ball just went straight? Exactly. And you weren't there anymore? That's exactly what happened, yes. So what about the Coriolis force? Well, the Coriolis force actually doesn't exist. The Coriolis force doesn't exist? It doesn't, no. So what's the point of my YouTube channel? It's a waste of time. Well, that's really, because you see, we live on the spinning planet. Ah. Shall we do the Southern Hemisphere now? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> now remember, boys and girls, the Coriolis force is dangerous and powerful. It can cause hurricanes, monsoons, and biotonic instability. So don't try this at home unless supervised by a professional. So Dylan, crazy place, the Southern Hemisphere, eh? Yeah. Yeah, but you know that Coriolis parameter actually gets bigger as you go north. I know, it's important for Rusby waves. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the prevailing winds. Yes, they act as a reflective index, don't they? Indeed, yes. indeed they do. Mm. 